Hola amigos, hola amigos, hola, 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 hola. So right now it's time to make some homemade coconut bars. I'm gonna use chocolate chips, I'm going to melt them and cover them. I'm gonna use this silicone, I mean molds, but it's optional. Also, I'm gonna tell you quickly what kind of ingredients I use right now. A quarter of a teaspoon of paint salt, half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Is this optional? Lion's mane. Mine? Oh, mane, oh, mane, oh, mane, oh, mane, oh, mane. So it's optional, I'm gonna add it one teaspoon of lion's powder. Two tablespoons of, wow, corn light syrup. If you wanna make it more sweet, you can add it more and extra, but I mean, for me, two tables are good. Also two tables with coconut oil. What else, this is optional, mulberries. Yeah, I'm gonna add it some mulberries. Also same portion half cup of coconut sugar and also half cup of chocolate chips also you need one food processor so it's time to make it so let's do it so then amigos place your coconut sugar your mulberries we're gonna break down a little bit then it's time to make it. what are you doing here amiguito Just a little bit, this is good. So it's good, looks good. I'm gonna add my sea salt, <gasps> my super powder. Daddy. Vanilla strap. And coconut oil. Damn, it looks good. Missing something. Look at those coconut bars. Are gonna be good. Keep mixing all together. <laughs> oh my God. Just make sure that everything is mixed. So, amigos, if you wanna add it or charge a little bit more sweetener, right now it's the time. Try it. Hm. It's enough. Nice. So is this optional? The silicone molds, I say. Fill out your molds. If you don't have one or you're not using, you're not using one. You can use some, just on over one plate, a piece of parchment paper and spread all one light of coconut cheddar sounds good looks good so amigos right now it's time to place it in your freezer by a couple hours one two hours depends just make sure that everything is frozen and it's too hard because we're gonna cover it with some chocolate so i'll be back Amigos, 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 let's bring out our bars. Looks good, everything looks good, looks frozen. So right now I'm melting my chocolate, how you see. Just be careful when you're bringing out if you're using, in case that you're using this kind of mold, I mean our molds on your bars. Nice, it's almost completely melted. Just I'm gonna bring out. Ah, a little hot. So right now it's time to cover them with some chocolate. Chocolate and chocolate. Go slow, Ulysses. Go slow. Just make sure that everything is covered. Daddy. And da da. Daddy. And da da da. Everything looks delicious, so I'm gonna bring back a couple, you know, couple minutes and 
mine should be ready. So amigos, this is how I made my homemade coconut bars. Look at this. Oh my god, that chocolate smells good. Also, is this one way how to make it? And the next time, if you don't want to use this, actually, I shouldn't use this. The next time, you should use some parchment paper over one plate or something like that and place in your freezer until this is chill. Oh no, this is chill. Actually, I'm missing something. There is another idea. <laughs> Once you cover it with chocolate, you can spread a little more coconut cheddar. All the time there are different ways. Actually, you can add any other ingredients while you're doing your mix. Also, you can charge more with your sweeteners or even you can put less. All the time it's on your hands how much sugar you can put in your food. <laughs> Look at this, can you see them? Can you see them? Look at this. I made homemade coconut bars and also wedge or a slice of apple with chocolate and walnuts. <laughs> try it, try it, try it, please. Try it. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> 